Better now? Yeah, better now. Okay. Thank you. I got you. I know you do. You and I'm a do. good shot, so. Yeah, you are. You're a damn good shot. I know. <laughs> You're okay. Um, it was actually um, Brooke's therapist that recommended we try uh, medical marijuana. And um, at first, I was still an active duty MP um, and uh, military police, and that part of our part of our mission, part of our job was to enforce federal law and federal law says that cannabis is schedule one narcotic and that's a no-no no matter what no medical use whatsoever and um so i was incredibly opposed to the idea at the time and i just i just blew it off and uh ended up going to germany for two years and uh had two years to think about it you had two and years to watch study me fall and down. watch her fall apart mm -hmm. and watch our marriage fall Don't apart and watch myself fall apart and try to pretend I wasn't falling apart. Yes, I'll come help you with your shoes. Come on. I'm good now, love. Thank okay. you. Good. Yeah. Two combat veterans sleeping next to each other at night is probably the worst idea anybody ever thought of. Because if he moves, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it threatening, so then I get defensive and he's defensive and it's interesting. She's my soulmate too. She hangs out with me and, and her name is Indica. Um, and it's very suiting. I remember getting a phone call from him and he was driving and he was supposed to be going to school and he, he didn't know where he was going. He couldn't remember where he was supposed to go. He does this every day. Um, he drives that route every day, but he couldn't find his way there. And Knowing that, knowing that this was staring me in the face, it was, he's not well, he's not good, he's not okay. And that, it was a gut check to me because it was like, okay, well, we have three kids. <laughs> we have three kids. One of us has to be able to remember where they are and when and function and take care of them.